I'm Arnon Roseanne, President and CEO of Garrison Flood Control. And today, I'd like to talk to you about our latest addition to the MIME line, the MIME Max Panel. The MIME Max Panel is not only taller than some of our previous versions, but also has some design features that are unique to it and enable it to be used in a more, in a larger variety of scenarios. If we look at the Mayim Max, you can see that in addition to being 40 inches tall, it also has an arch design. This arch is designed to allow it to handle heavier hydrostatic pressures that are expected with deeper floodwaters. The original Mayim had a ribbing design, which this still has, but this in addition has the arch design, which enables it to handle that deeper water. The skirting material that you see below is designed to allow this panel to handle less even ground. So I'm gonna show you now how we unfurl this, connect panels, and get sort of an installation going. Like our original Mayan barrier, we tip this panel to insert the small tab into the receiver tab on the adjacent panel. Then we overlap the panels so that these actually slot together, creating a, a good watertight seal. And then we set this back and snap it into a little clip that's here with a push tab. When we want to disconnect it, we simply push the tab and we can disconnect these panels from each other. So now while these here are locked, it's going to create that seal and enable us to continue the run indefinitely. Let's talk a little bit about how the skirting system works on the Mayan barrier. So as you can see, the skirting is snapped into place here when not in use, and it doesn't have to be deployed, but on uneven ground, we recommend that it does get deployed. This is a flexible material, which you can unsnap from the panel, unfurl it. Now this could be uneven ground like grass, or maybe a soft bottom and a riverbank, or something like that. You can see there's Velcro that lines the sides of these so that when you unsnap the adjacent section and unfurl that, you can Velcro that to the section to create the seal. So as you can see, I just Velcroed it here and now I'm ready to go with a continuous run. Now this material is flexible, which enables it to contour to the ground below. So if you have some grade changes or other uh, ground changes, this will handle that transition. We often get asked, how does the Mayan system work? Because obviously we're not ballasting it with sand or sandbags or anything like that. That's because the unique L-shaped design of these barriers enable it to get ballasted by the water itself. As the water rises onto the panels, it pressures down the panels, increasing the seal between the neoprene and the ground below and providing ballast, which prevents the panels from tipping over. In fact, these panels can be at a nearly 45 degree angle with water in the front and still will not fall over. Our Mayan flood barrier line consists of three heights, 20 inches, 30 inches, and 40 inches. The 20 and 30 inch panels are original Mayan barriers which are in use extensively by municipalities, homeowners, factories, warehouses, transit systems, power plants. Our 40 inch Mayan barrier is based on the 20 and 30 inch barrier, except it also includes an additional skirting material that can be unfurled and velcroed to adjacent sections to create a greater seal with the ground below. It also has an arched design which helps it handle the hydrostatic pressures from the deeper water that are expected on a 40-inch 